The next leader of the opposition will be selected in just over a month's time. And this week, there's another conservative leadership debate. But there will be two notable no-shows. Let's bring in political analyst Dwayne Bratt to talk about the upcoming debates and the significance of them uh, this close to the vote. So, Dwayne, Leslin Lewis and Pierre Polyev uh, skipping this debate. What do you make of this? Well, the big thing is, is Polyev skipping it. Um, and, you know, he is using um, a typical front runner strategy where he believes that um, there's no upside to him participating. There's only a downside. So it's better just to, to write it off. This is why Jean Charest, who's in a desperate battle to try to beat Pierre Polyev, wanted this debate. Um, but uh, the Polyev folks uh, don't. And, bear, and part of their argument is that voting has already begun. Mm -hmm. But according to the Conservative Party, only about less than 15% uh, of the ballots have been returned. So there's a huge opportunity if people pay attention to the debate, which I don't think they will because mm. Polly Epp is not there. Well, and also, Duane, the number of people who even wanted this debate, there was polling done, it wasn't much more than 15%, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it was... Uh, <laughs> You know, that, that's the reason that the, the Conservatives uh, leadership group felt that it was worthwhile is because of that response. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, they, their argument is um, Patrick Brown was expelled. Uh, Patrick Brown signed up a lot of people. You know, this was how, how do the other candidates respond to Patrick Brown supporters? So Sheree, as an underdog, really wanted it. Polyev as the front runner uh, did not, and he didn't just say I'm busy or this is a waste of time. His campaign absolutely lambasted yeah. the idea, and they attacked the media, um, and they attacked uh, the organizing committee. Um, you know, just typical tactics that the Polyev campaign has used. He also received a big endorsement from uh, former Prime Minister Stephen Harper, which was unusual unto itself for a, a very, former, a very unusual. Yes, endorsement. for a former Prime Minister to kind of jump into a political leadership race like this. Um, but how much of an impact will that endorsement have for Mr. Polyev? Yeah, I mean, there there are people who believe that obviously maybe Sheree is showing stronger support and Harper needed to intervene to support Polly F. I don't buy that. Um, if Harper really wanted uh, to help Polly F, he would have come out much earlier. Um, he would have uh, showed up at events. He would have helped to sell memberships, uh, done all of those sorts of things. His endorsement occurs after voting has already begun. So I think the purpose of Harper's endorsement was not to help Polyev win the leadership. I think Polyev was gonna do that anyway. It was about the day after and trying to make sure that this party stays together because there are a group of centrist, moderate conservatives uh, who are talking about walking away from the conservative party if Pierre Polyev wins. Mm -hmm. And I think it was those people that Harper was trying to, to reach. After all, the current modern Conservative Party is largely a creation of the efforts of Stephen Harper. Stephen Harper won three elections. Stephen Harper remains the most influential, popular federal Conservative right now. Dwayne Bratt, political science professor at Mount Royal University. Thanks for your time. Okay, you're welcome. Good to see you.